Good afternoon. We'd like to welcome you to our 18th annual Cultural Arts Festival, fortunately or unfortunately. We're doing it virtually this year. Because of the pandemic, of course, uh, we can't come together, but we didn't want to break the cycle of the Cultural Arts Festival being presented. And to just give you a little historical pr uh, prospect of how things have transpired over the years, when we first started this 18 years ago, I think we had about five to six cultures identified uh, around uh, Gilman School. And, and one of the reasons we wanted to do it was just to show the diversity that was part of Gilman. I had two parents that helped me uh, to pull, pull this off, uh, Martha Ruff, she really helped us pull this program to the point where, where we are today. Rosalind Wally was the other parent that assisted us. And with their help, we were able to pull off the Cultural Arts Festival and it started to grow from there. With Rosalind's help and, and Martha Ruff, we were able to successfully pull the program off each year until the, their sons uh, graduated and there were other parents that came in to assist us with the program. It grew and grew to the point where last year I think we had about 23 different cultures that were a part of the festival. And it centered around where we wanted to have a food court in the middle of the gymnasium and have examples of the various foods that existed in each one of those particular cultures. And it just added to the flavor of everything that we were doing with entertainment. We had poetry readings, we had dancing, we had, each culture was able to give us an example of uh, uh, things or events that happened into their particular uh, culture as far as our entertainment was concerned. And this year we would have had the same sort of thing occurring. And our two co-chairs that are here with me today we will give you an example of just exactly what that would have transpired for our 18th Cultural Arts Festival. Our prayer is, is that next year, year uh, 19, we'll be able to uh, bring the Cultural Arts Festival back live and uh, we'll have the, the same sort of participation from our parent body. Again, welcome to this year's rendition. Thank you. Hi, I'm Georgia Marshall one of the chairs of the Cultural Arts Festival. As mentioned before, we're not able to see you in person, but we have provided video and photos from previous years. Previous cultures highlighted have been Korea, China, Nigeria, Ghana, Costa Rica, African American, and many, many others. But we know that's only a fraction of the cultures represented at Gilman. So we'd love for you to join us in 2022. Please enjoy the photos and videos and contact either Misha or myself if you're interested in being involved in Cultural Arts Festival next year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Misha Dockett and I am a current parent here at Gilman School. Welcome to the virtual Cultural Arts Festival for this year. As you know, unfortunately, we are not here to be with you in person, but we thought we would still keep the tradition going strong. Today you will see uh, various performances. We have had over uh, 50 different foods from various cultures. Thank you and enjoy the festival. Hi, welcome to Nigeria. I'm Chi Chi. Um, and this is Moji. This is the three, this is the three, these are the three major tribes in Nigeria. What else? Um, Nigeria has one of the most educated um, individuals in Africa. That is correct. Um, what else? We're We're, the seven, we have the 17th most populous city in the world. Um, and also, we have over 500 indigenous languages. Yes, we do. They yes, all fall under the Hausa, Yoruba, and, 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 and uh, Igbo, Igbo tribe. tribe. Welcome to China, Huan Yin. Uh, we have some fun facts for you. Uh, put together, all of China's railways could loop around the world twice. The mortar used to bind the Great Wall Stones was made with sticky rice. Chinese white dolphins, which live off southern China, are often pink. 
Hello, my name is Myra Missouri. Uh, this is our African American presentation. Uh, we are focusing on filmmakers and poets, uh, which is, as you know, a uh, great part of our African American tradition and our culture. Uh, a lot of our culture is depicted through movies and poems and music. And so this is just a, a brief demonstration of some of um, the talent um, Af the talented African Americans that uh, displayed work of, of music and film. So I hope you enjoy, hope you stop past and um, get a sticker for your passport and uh, come past and enjoy. Thank you. Oh, welcome to Pakistan, which uh, literally means land of the pure. Uh, we have uh, here Asad. Hello, Asad. Hello. <laughs> and um, uh, we have, um, as our trivia, we have three questions where, that we're telling everyone about, and most people may not know about it. Uh, first of all, uh, Pakistan has some of the highest mountains in the world. Uh, as, a matter of four, as a matter of fact, four out of the 14 tallest peaks, oh sorry, five out of the 14 tallest peaks are in Pakistan. Uh, the second trivia, trivia piece of trivia is that uh, the, the oldest known swimming pool is in Pakistan, uh, the ruins of that. Uh, so they say that that was the first place in the world where a swimming pool was create, made. And the third trivia is that uh, Urdu is the national language of Pakistan. It's not Pakistanian, it's Urdu and Urdu means army and it's a Turkish word which means army. Um, other than that, you know, we have a few things for display. We have uh, the, some of the peaks, some of the architects, uh, architecture stuff. And then this is a dagger. It's a typical dagger from the Mughal era, which, is, uh, which was the uh, the Muslim era uh, of the whole subcontinent, not just Pakistan, but also India. And uh, these are the guys who made the Taj Mahal. So that's part of our heritage as well. So thank you very much. Welcome to Israel. Israel is known as the startup nation because they have more startups per capita than anywhere else in the world. These are some of our inventions. A pill camera, Waze, solar windows, e-games, and a mobile eye that a lot of cars have on their, on their vehicles now. Israel is a small country. It's just the size of New Jersey. And we speak Hebrew in Israel. My name is Tigist and I'm here to talk about Ethiopia. Uh, the thing I'd like to show is that Ethiopia is a very old country. It starts with prehistory, with uh, the finding of fossils. Uh, medieval history with uh, castles and churches built anywhere from 13th century to 9th, 17th century. And then more modern history um, in, in terms of the cultural artifacts that I have here. Uh, the Coffee is also originally found in Ethiopia, and there's the story of how coffee was discovered. We actually have the traditional coffee pots here. Uh, this is unroasted coffee, roasted coffee, ground coffee. Uh, this shows our food called injera, which is a leavened bread. And we're also showing our alphabet, which is called Fidel. Uh, which is syllabic, meaning it's a combination of consonants and vowels. We're trying to show the kids how to write their names in Fidel. So they're learning about both uh, the history, what originates in Ethiopia like coffee, what our food is, and also our written language. Costa Rica was discovered in 1502 by Columbus, and it's the smallest of the Latin American countries. It is a country full of a lot of wildfire, uh, wildlife and it has five volcanoes that are major one in particular Arenal. Arenal is still an active volcano and at night you can actually see the fish use coming off of the top in molten lava. A lot of the work that's done in Costa Rica is in leather or wood and in particular I have a lot of pair of boots that I bought there. Uh, it's a great place 
that in 1948 they abolished the army. So there's no army, and that's one of the reasons why it is such a very peaceful country at present. The vice president is of African descent. She is from Limon, so it's the first place in Latin America that has a person of African descent to be in the political power. It's a great place to visit. 400,000 Americans are retired there. So if you can get a chance, come to Costa Rica. So we are representing the uh, India booth amongst the great cultural diversity we have here at Gilman. We're very proud to show our roots and our boys' roots. Um, some of us were born in India, others were born here, but what we have in common is our parents and grandparents emigrated directly from all parts of India. To me, India is like a united Europe because there is multiple different languages. The culture, though it is Indian, as one, um, it's far and wide. Many religions, many different foods. In fact, the alphabet's not even the same for the multiple Indian languages. So we have lots of food and fun here today. Um, I just want to say that uh, as part of the Gilman community, uh, we've been taking part in the cultural festival since its initiation many uh, years ago. And, um, and I think we continue that tradition. And I love to see all the various countries that show up over here um, every year. And we're really proud to see our boys come out and take part. Um, we have this, this year we have one of our boys playing a classical Indian instrument, which is the tabla. So that'll be fun to watch. Hi, welcome to Trinidad and Tobago, where we have the best carnival in the entire world. Beautiful waters, beautiful beaches, and great food. So whenever you're looking for a place to have a family vacation, definitely visit Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, I'm from Romania. Uh, we speak Romanian. It's one of the five Romance languages. Uh, it is 1700 years old. Transylvania is like one third of uh, Romanian territory. And uh, please come and visit us. Thank you. Everyone, this is my daughter Marie, and this uh, stand is for Lebanon. Uh, Lebanon is uh, a beautiful country on the Mediterranean. It's a small country, 10,452 square kilometers. It, um, it has a mix of cultures. Uh, the language is Arabic, and uh, Sunnis, Shiite, Catholics, and Greek Orthodox, and few Protestants live, so they all live in peace together since the war ended the Civil War years ago. Beirut is the capital, and the food is amazing. As you all know, there's a Lebanese taverna in Baltimore, Maryland you can try. Hi, uh, welcome to Malaysia. Uh, my name is Mi Wong. I am um, originally from Malaysia. Um, I'm a parent and um, a staff for Gilman. Um, Malaysia is a really uh, rich country. Uh, made out with uh, Malay, Chinese, and Indian. 
Um, it's um, uh, we this year we had the durian canning challenge, and um, many people are enjoying it. Um, thank you. Hey everyone, uh, we're the LGBTQIA plus booth. That stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, and asexual, and everything else you can think of. Uh, we may not be a country, but we have a lot of culture that we'd like to share. So, anything you guys want to say? No, you summed it up really well. On the head. <laughs> yeah. Hi, hello, and welcome to the Singapore table at the Gilman Cultural Festival. Uh, Singapore is a relatively young country. It's a former British colony, and uh, along with its neighbor Malaysia, it's a multicultural country. Um, the natives of Singapore are the Malay people, uh, who are also uh, Muslim, primarily Muslim. And during British colonial times, a lot of immigrants came from China, primarily the south of China, as well as from India, again, primarily from the south of India. So right now, as a country, it is in truly a multicultural uh, place. Um, as a very small country, uh, Singapore has more than 5.5 million people uh, that live on about 280 square miles of land. Um, as a result, most people live in modern high-rise apartments. It's uh, in the tropics, so it's a very lush and green place. We have one of the national uh, symbols of um, mascots of Singapore is the merlion, which is a, uh, as it sounds like, it's like a mermaid. It's a lion, uh, a creature with a lion's head and a fish tail. So it's called the merlion, and it was part of the early mythology of how the island of Singapore was named uh, many hundreds of years ago. Singa means lion, and uh, that, that, that hence the name Singapore.